Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Walter Scott and in this challenge we're going to be designing a logo. Now challenges are simple, short, fun projects covering a range of software and topics uh, so that you can practice your skills, learn new skills, create some unique pieces for your portfolio. You know, that portfolio that you haven't updated in years or haven't even started. I'm talking to you. So who is this for? Uh, anybody can participate, but really it's aimed at people who are new to design and design software in general. Uh, so no need to have any kind of like logo design experience. All you need is our willingness to give it a go. All right, let's talk about the brief for this challenge. Uh, we're designing a logo. What is the logo for? It is for this very challenge series that we're doing now. Okay, I want this challenge series to have its own kind of identity and we'll start, uh, start by creating a logo for it. Okay, so its main kind of first use, at least, is going to be on the website. Let me show you here. So here's the wireframe for the website. The site doesn't exist yet, still kind of building this as we speak. So up here in the top left is where the logo will spend most of its life. And this brings us to our one restriction for this specific challenge is that you have to use this text here, B-Y-O-L challenges with plural. Okay, you can either use the acronym version or the longer version, bring your own laptop challenges. Okay, so that has to be part of the logo. So you need that text, but in terms of shape, color, fonts, okay, I'll leave that all up to you. All you have to do is keep in mind that this is a logo for our creative challenges website. So death metal logo is probably not going to be right. Probably not going to stop a few of you going that direction, but uh, just keep in mind the audience. So what software can you use? You can use anything because I can't check. Okay, but if you're looking for a purpose built, um, you know, appropriate bit of software is Adobe Illustrator. Now, if you haven't done Illustrator before, um, challenge yourself. This might be the week that you go off and learn it. Uh, to help out, if you want to do my essentials and advanced course, okay, for Adobe Illustrator, check those out. There'll be a link in the description. For those of you who uh, have already done my Illustrator training, what I'll do is I'll create a list of kind of relevant videos uh, that will just kind of jog your memory for just some of the specific tools that are useful for creating logos. I'll link to those in the, I'll put a Word doc in the download files button. There'll be a big button underneath the video in the challenge website. Okay, so you can download that and it will give you a little bit of the brief. It'll give you the videos and courses and any links that I discuss in this particular briefing video. How do you submit your work? Uh, you click the submit your work button. Okay, that is on the website. I'll put a link in the description as well. Okay, uh, if you go to the site, registration is free, doesn't cost you anything. Okay, and what we're looking for in your submission is your logo. So it could be a JPEG or a screenshot, just some kind of image of what you've created. When you are uploading, add notes for things like uh, resources that you found useful, uh, any hurdles that you overcome, or maybe some hurdles that you are yet to overcome and the problems, list those and we'll all jump in and see if we can help out. As well as uploading it to the challenge website, upload it to social media as well. Okay, make sure you tag uh, me in it. These are the options. Okay, and let's all use as well the hashtag BYOL challenge. Then we can all follow that hashtag and kind of see what comes up. Your deadline. Uh, your deadline will be listed on the top of the challenge website. Check that out. Uh, when it's finished, okay, we will have a debriefing party, okay, where I'll go through and talk about some of the more interesting projects. Uh, they will, we'll try a live stream for that. Um, there'll be a link in the description so you can kind of pre-register for that right now. If you are watching in the future, okay, and the deadline is passed, it's totally cool. You can totally submit your work, okay, practice your skills and build out that portfolio. So how long should this take you? Uh, some of us are going to have a whole day to spend on the project and some of us are going to have a couple of hours in between kids screaming at us. Okay, so do what you can with the time you have available and just remember it's not a beauty pageant, it's a practice pageant. Alright, that's it. Time to get going. Just remember why we've got this project. It's not to be the best, it's not to win. Okay, it's to be slightly better versions of ourselves than when we started. So go off, learn something new, practice what you've learned, and I will see you at the debriefing party. Does he always wear the hat? I know he wears the glasses, but sometimes not the hat. That's why I'm wearing the hat. Can you see it? I guess I'll zoom in. Okay, I'd like to blame it on my cat.
but I don't have a cat. I, don't, I seriously considered it, blaming it on my two-year-old because he has really scratchy fingers and he's scratched me a few times. But all honestly, uh, it was a hook. I walked into it. I even put the hook up in my garage and guess how high the hook is when you're standing. <laughs> all right, end of challenge video.